gonna show y'all. Look at my lace. What? What lace? A clamps. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Monet Battle. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video. And if you're returning, thank you for coming back again to see me. So today we have another hair sponsor. Thank you to Youth. I want to say Youthy. You see, they have given me a wig to review for you guys. And this is something different than what I'm used to. So, we're going to get right into it and see what your girl can do. Because, y'all, this wig is too cute. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and insert a picture of the actual wig right here before we get started. And show you what it looks like and how it's going to come out. So, I'm going to do my thing, I'm going to do my thing, you know, I'm going to do my thing. Just keep on watching, you feel me? We're going to do makeup in this video as well because today I have to create content. So I'm going to go ahead and do makeup and we're going to, you know, chit chat a little bit because I got some stuff to talk about. Just a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into the video. One more thing, do not forget to subscribe if you're new. Go ahead and subscribe right now so you won't miss any more content. Also, make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram at monet.battle underscore for, so you can stay, like, I'm sorry, y'all. So y'all can stay, you know, in tune with whatever I post because I be on Instagram the most. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video now. So, out of the pack, this is how it comes. So, it has, like, a Ziploc kind of thing. So, out of the pack, we have the hair in a net. So, this hair is a pre-updo. Um, it comes with baby hairs already shaped. It looks it looks like they have already pu plucked the lace and everything, but we still need to touch up the lace so that it blends in with our skin. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the pack so you guys can see the full thing. By the way, this is a 28 inch, and y'all, this is another synthetic wig. I don't have much experience with synthetic wigs, but y'all, do this like a synth a synthetic wig, y'all. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and unbox this and install this, cause sis is gonna be bummed today. This is the first time I ever had a bang. So we're gonna see what a bang look like on me. <laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty, let's unbox this. So from what I can see, there is a bobby pin holding this hair, holding the bun in place. I don't know what the bun looks like out, but since it's been curled, it's been twirled into this pattern the whole time. I'm expecting it to be curly. I'm not going to take it down. I'm going to go ahead and add another bobby pin so it, it doesn't fall because, y'all, I don't have time. I don't have time today, so... I'm going to go ahead and put a bobby pin where some of the hair is sticking out up to secure it. Because this is going to go on smoothly today and that's period. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out the paper they have in the middle. And then they have like this little white foam piece um, around the actual lace part that they um sent. We're going to see how soft the lace is. Because sometimes with synthetic wigs, the lace isn't very soft. So, from what I could tell, it's not really hard. But it's not the softest the lace could, you know, ever be. But this is what the wig looks like on the inside. So, they only give you lace, like, right at the front. And then the rest is, like, combs. And then they have, like, a bend. They have, like, a bend at the back to make it tight if you wanted to. But pretty much, this hair is already styled for us so i mean obviously we're gonna have to go in and do something to this bang because that junk is thick when i say, I say when i mean when i say thick i mean thick so i'm gonna go ahead and clip i'm gonna put my okay wait i'm gonna show y'all this bottom part first though let me mute my little hold on. so this is the bottom of the hair i haven't brushed it or anything but 
the hair is really smooth and everything but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and put on my wig cap so we can get started because it's not gonna take us long to install this hair so before we put the wig on i'm gonna go ahead and tighten um tighten the scraps at the back so it can be snug on my head because I have a small head but while my hair is like this under here my head is not that small and these clips when I say these clips are like the securest clips I've ever seen they have like a little hook under there so that it's not it, it's not going to be able to come out of the loop even if it tried but I never do anything to my lace besides besides spray it with lace spray I'm gonna tell y'all which one I use. I get it from the beauty supply store. I use the Ebon. Hold on, wait a minute. I use this one, the Ebon one from um, Beauty Master. So I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and spray my lace with this so that, cause this is not, this, yeah, if y'all can see this lace, this lace is not near my skin tone. So when I put it on, it's going to look ashy if I don't spray it. Dang, I actually spray, accidentally sprayed my nail, y'all. But like I said, this spray is washable. It will come off whenever you wash the lace. So don't worry about any of that. Alright. I'm going to put my blow dryer on it for a few minutes because I need it to dry before I actually lay it down on my, on my skin because it's wet. It's wet from the spray. Put the wig on. look at my mirror so I can see what I'm doing because okay this wig a little snug okay I think I got it too tight too tight oh wait a minute hold up wait a minute Okay, so it looks like it's on, but we we'll wanted to fix some of this. Cause this hair all over the place. This thing is definitely snug on my head. Y'all, I don't know how cute this about to be on me. Like this some of this gonna have to go because this too this too thick. Like, maybe. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and clip this out of the way. So we can get to this lace. Oh. Oh my god. This wig's too tight. I'm going to have to um, undo the thing in the back a little bit. But for the most part, it's blending in with my skin. Like, it's giving skin skin. So, we're going to, I'm going to go back off camera and I'm going to fix the other part right quick. And I'm going to come back to y'all in just a minute. Because the hair cute overall, but we're going to fix this up. I went ahead and made sure that it's like fitting right over my ears so that when I cut the lace it'll fit just right but I'm gonna go ahead and cut this into three so we can get started with applying the spray 
because if we don't cut it, I'm not going to be able to do what I need to do just because it's too snug on my head. Like, I loosened it, but it's still too snug. But I'm going to go in with my um, high insta hole from Got Studio to secure it. So, um, yeah, we're going to start in the middle. take my little satin scarf or hip what well, I don't I forgot what it's called it's like a it's called a edge effect so this is for my this is what I use for on my edges when I do my wigs so I'm just gonna take it and tie it down um while I fix the rest of the hair because once we take this off I'm gonna do my edges I should have put this hair in a ponytail. Jesus. I might have put this in a ponytail. Also, we're probably going to need to pluck some of this hair around the edges because it's really thick but we need to be careful because this lace is it's, it's kind of stiff so you want to be careful when you're plucking because it could rip the lace so just make sure to take care Oh my gosh, hold on. Okay. That's tied. Now, I'm probably going to let it sit on there for like at least 10 minutes to make sure it's actually secure. Because this lace is a little different than what I'm used to. But I'm going to go ahead and brush some of the hair because it's getting kind of um, messed up while I'm trying to fix the rest of the wig. I'm glad they already kind of pulled out the baby hairs for us though because it's less work for us, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but, um... I can't believe this hair is synthetic like it's so easy to brush like it's giving me no trouble at all and it just falls it falls like regular hair it's not stiff or anything which is really what I like and while we're at it while I'm like waiting for my hair to set and everything I'm gonna go ahead and um go around the perimeter of the scalp to kind of change the color a bit because it's giving me white girl scalp but um yeah i'm just gonna take some more of my little spray i really could go in with my foundation but i don't want to waste my foundation so i'm just gonna use the same spray that i used on the lace to go around the perimeter. Take the scarf off. And then we're going to go ahead and um, chop off our lace. Or well, I'm trying to see if I want to pluck it first because like here's the baby hairs. But yeah, I'm gonna take my little 
razor right here and i want to go in and go in and cut this lace and i think i want to cut another little thing right here i'm gonna have to wash my skin off because this stuff Hey you guys, so let me tell you about this bang. So I had to go in and kind of like, um, like not layer the bang, but I had to trim it a little bit and I didn't have shears. So I had to take the bang layer by layer so that I can like cut some of the hair out because it was so thick. So it literally took me like 30 to 40 minutes just to go through every layer of this bang to get it thin. But um, you guys are gonna see that all right y'all so i'm about to have to put some work in because your girl does not own thinning shears and i'm not gonna stand a lot to y'all that junk just made me so mad because this bang this bang is so freaking thick so you know what i'm about to have to do I'm gonna have to wing it because um we need to get this this bang thing and I have a test at like 205 so we're gonna have to get it done before then because baby hey guys so this is me literally going through every layer of the bang and thinning it out a little bit at a time it did take me a good amount of time to do this so if you're planning on getting this bit this wig or buying this wig I would say to try to thin out the bang a day before or two days before because doing this all in one day is definitely stressful and I will not do it again the wig did end up coming out really well um in this next clip I'm pretty much flat ironing it see to see where I am by the way this synthetic wig does hold a curl I did not curl the ends but as you can see the bang is holding the curl that I just put in, so that is great as well. I also went ahead and trimmed some more off because it was covering my eyes. And I ended up having to wash my face because I had a lot of hair on my face after this. Hey y'all, so update on the bang. I got it down a good amount. I have so much hair here that I took off. Honestly... I want to take a little bit more off so I can have gaps in between this bang because I don't it I don't like how it doesn't have any gaps in it. So I'm gonna have to go back through and try to thin it out a little more. But I'm gonna go I'm gonna show y'all. Look at my lace. What what lace? What lace? So I'm gonna um about to go in and do my baby hairs right quick. Hey you guys, so I'm pretty much done with the hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little makeup. I'm not doing Actually, I, I, I'm not doing a full face. I'm going to do foundation, blush, and a little contour to go along with it. Honestly, I might just do bronzer because I'm not doing nothing crazy today. So, I'm going to put my little products on. Guys, the lace looks so good. Honestly... I don't know if I expected it to blend as well as it, it is. So, I mean, that was so dry. Even though it's not like really cold outside right now. But yeah, so I told y'all I was going to talk to y'all earlier. 
what I really wanted to talk about was basically like what I have going on, what I'm trying to pursue, um, going into these next few months of 2021. I am trying and I, well not trying, I am working really hard to start working with more brands. Um, I really want to continue to work with clothing brands. Um, I actually have a clothing video coming out today with um, two brands that I was working with, Vitney and Louise. They partnered up with me to um, show you guys the clothing that they gave me. Y'all, their pieces are so nice. Like when I tell you like hopefully y'all like the video i really hope so because i put a lot of work into it a lot of time into it to um try to make it as good as possible you know so hopefully you guys like it because i style pieces for y'all in that video so to make sure y'all know what y'all could do with all of that so I mean basically what I want to do going into the next few months is like keep on working more with more brands and building my um building my experience and also like the fact that I have like worked with someone and they have actually liked my work so I mean that's going to go a long way with um trying to work with other bigger brands in a really short time i feel it i feel it god is working for my um working for me and i will work for him in return but yeah so i'm just going ahead and using my um i method beauty brow gel this stuff is a lifesaver it literally saves me so much time from having to do my eyebrows um, I really haven't done my eyebrows in a while because I've just been using the brow gel and then I go in and fill, um, in the gaps and everything. So, I really don't be working hard on my brows like I used to. And I really like the big fluffy brow look now. So, that is what I'm going for right now. And I still go in and conceal my brows after. Ooh, I need to wait till now. I can't wait for my makeup to oxidize because I look really worn. Y'all, so I went ahead and decided to go in with contour because bronzer wasn't sitting right without the contour. So I just went ahead and did it. I'm going to go in with a little concealer because it won't be right if I didn't add concealer. You know what? I think it's almost time for me to start switching over to my other um, foundation because this foundation is starting to look a little dark and I don't like that. Um, but just because I don't really have a tan as much anymore. So it's just like what purpose is my foundation? because I'm being rushed so um yeah like I was saying I forgot I don't even I forgot what I was talking about y'all but I mean I'm sure y'all remind me but um yeah I'm about to go ahead and clean my brows up a little bit as I already filled them in <laughs> if y'all somebody that's trying to learn how to do your brows you don't gotta be you don't gotta be, um, your actual brows don't have to be clean until you, like, conceal them. Because the concealer really does all the work for you. You really don't gotta do nothing. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go in and finish 
doing this and then um do my under eye because that is very important to me but yeah like i was saying i really love the bushy eyebrow look now so i don't shape my but i don't shape my brows too much anymore because i don't want them to be like really skinny just because i feel like this brow looks so much better on me and then i will go in with my other brush and make sure that is blended you guys so we're gonna go ahead and put on these uh, lashes to complete the look because it's not a look without lashes and I'm probably gonna refresh my lip liner just because I feel like it could look better so I'm gonna use my little compact mirror I have gotten way better at doing lashes in a short amount of time so they're really fun to do now just because I can do them now Well, y'all see what I'm talking about? I look like a totally different person. And I kind of don't like that. I don't like that. I look different. <laughs> I look different, but I don't. If you know, I mean, if you know, you know. I still look like me. Just a better version of me. But, I mean, I'm saying it in the best way, okay? I just don't like how good I feel now when I put lashes on because I know that now that I put lashes on I know that lashes really help to complete the look and I was so iffy about this bang before but it grew on me y'all it grew on me it's definitely working the way it's supposed to like I had a vision for it and honestly I just kept clipping at it because I didn't feel like I was where I wanted to be with the bang but it seemed like it worked out for the best because it just looks good 
and now that I have my lashes on like I can actually call it a look more gloss on and we are finished you guys this came out so pretty I'm gonna zoom out so you guys can see the full hair come on my TV so this is the full look the hair is so so pretty like it doesn't get tangly the install was easy and quick I need to make sure I get some good thumbnail pictures for this but y'all thank you for tuning in for this thank you for tuning in to this video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe down below for more wig tutorials and make sure you keep coming back so we can keep growing bigger and bigger going bigger and better because i'm gonna wear this wig i'm gonna wear this wig for some pictures i just so happen not to be able to wear it today for some pictures because yeah it was a lot going on today so that is the hair I will see you guys in the next video. I love you, love you, love you, love you so much. Makeup popping, okay, period. I slayed this. And I really should get some pictures in it while it's fresh. But I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of cold tonight. And I don't, it's dark already. So, yeah. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and catch y'all in the next video.